with an amazing lineup of support. Carcass and Harm's Way just played them on Saturday night. And Crypta, all four bands on stage in October at the Agora. It's going to be a rager. Wednesday night, October the 2nd for this show. AgoraCleveland.com has the full details. But you can get this pair from me here by being caller 10. Good luck. 216-578-1007 or 800-348-1007. The Alan Cox Show. Sure, you could listen to another show, but then how would you find the puppies we've buried in boxes around the city? 100.7 WMMS. I love girls. They're all over this world. to look at you. 35192 want to send me a text if you listen to us on iHeartRadio. Tell me where you do that if it's out of state. I'd like to know where people are. Uh, some recent additions to the map. Chris listens in Binghamton, New York. Zach is down in Cape Coral, Florida. Uh, Ryan is in Cordova, Tennessee, which is suburban Memphis. Jamie's in Allen, Texas. Christian is in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Were you just in Tulsa? No, I was in uh Omaha. Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha, Nebraska. I did Kansas City and then Omaha. How were those? They were so much fun. With Chad Daniel? Yep. Chad Daniels and I. So I, I got into Kansas City on Thursday. Had a flight delay, missed the connecting flight. So a lot of annoying airport stuff. Mm-hmm. Nothing exciting, just a lot of a lot more waiting around than I intended on doing. Uh and then did the show in Kansas City, and then we had to drive to Omaha after the show on Thursday because Chad was doing morning radio on Friday. So we go to Omaha, and we have to, like, cross this weird bridge. And it's, like, this little narrow skinny bridge. It's, like, 1 in the morning, and at the end of it there is a little building, and we're looking at each other like, there, there's no way this is a toll road. There's no way there's a, anybody in this building. And we get up there, and, sh- and there's no gate or anything. There's just a guy sitting there, and he's like, one dollar. <laughs> and we're like, what? <laughs> like and an old like, Soviet check post? Yeah. It was, it, Checkpoint? And he was a real nice guy, and I gave him a five, expecting him to be like, well, I don't got no change here, so yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep this. Uh, but name hey, Build off four ones and gave us a change, and I I want I had so many questions for him. Like, did you just build this? And like, are you just collecting a dollar every time some someone comes through here, or is this an official? Uh, toll this was bill? in Nebraska. This was in Nebraska. So on the there was no end dot signs or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, it was. It was. I mean, I mean, he had it decorated with his own stuff. Like there was a zombie Fallout Shelter sign mm-hmm. on there, and like it just looked like some dude got one of those. Uh, Home Depot shacks yeah, and put it there and is like, all right, let's see if I'll make some money this way. And uh, it was it was so strange. But then Friday night. Otherwise, that's a pretty straight shot from Kansas City to Omaha, yeah, isn't it's, it? It's yeah, it's like three hours. It wasn't too – the only thing is we were hungry and we couldn't find any place that was open. So that's why we went on that little detour and ended up going over that little bridge just because we were looking for a Taco Bell that was actually open till 2 a.m. Mm-hmm. And so we finally found one, got some food, got to the hotel, blah, blah, blah. That's all boring. <laughs> Shows were great. Uh, thanks to the customers that came out, we had a few. Uh, a couple of bureau chiefs don't remember their names. Uh, Caitlin? And Caitlin did not. Mm. Caitlin is a Bill Squire hater, it seems. Oh, really? Well, I don't oh, know. Oh, she didn't come out. Yeah, oh, she I see. Come out. No, I don't know. <clears throat> she, you know, people have things to do. But it's also a very busy weekend in Nebraska, in Omaha, because they had Final Four games. Final Four, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, yeah. So that whole thing was going on. Uh, but Friday night, we only had one show. And Chad and I are good friends, known each other for about 15 years. And I'm like, we should go out after the show. We got nothing else to do. And he's like, that's a good idea, but only if we go to the gym first. So we went to the gym. <laughs> what? Well, because like we wanted, if we're gonna do something bad for our bodies, we should do something good for yeah. our. I bodies. mean, that's actually. So and he's yeah, got yeah, a young girlfriend. Balance. He's trying to keep himself in shape. Yeah, yeah. That's so, smart. So we hit the gym. That's fun. The show goes great. And then afterwards, uh, I was like. Where should we go? And we decided to do karaoke. I've been on a kind of a karaoke kick lately. And so we go to this karaoke bar called Mo and Curly's mm-hmm. in Omaha. And I just want to say we are so blessed to have 
the karaoke bars that we have in Cleveland. Uh, Corky's, such a blast. Tina's, you ever been to Tina's? No, I haven't. Oh, oh yeah, I've been to Tina's. Tina's yeah. is a great time. Yep. It's uh, off in the cut, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one is a karaoke bar that seemed more for people that are trying to make it as a singer. Like, I know those other co- bars have people like that. There wasn't a lot of groups there that were just there to sing. And, like, embarrass and, like, themselves. Have fun, and embarrass have themselves, fun. have fun, yeah. like, somebody's birthday or something. It seemed like a lot of people were there by themselves waiting for their turn to sing. Like, waiting for their moment to shine that yes. maybe there will be a producer there that's like, you, you're the next star. Right. So that's what Chad and I decided to be. Oh. We... The next star or the producers? The producers that are deciding <laughs> your fate for that night. And so these guys go up, and we're we're sitting right by the bar, so they're just handing us drinks all night. We're not driving, so we're like, hey, whatever. We'll just keep drinking. Yeah. And we're just, we're just drinking vodka sodas all night. And at first, a few people go up, and they're doing deep-cut country songs. Like, it's one thing to like country. It's another thing to sing a song – of any genre that nobody knows at karaoke. That is a diabolically terrible thing. Maybe that crowd knows it. No, they didn't. Oh, they didn't. nobody okay. in the crowd, because there were enough people that if you got did a song that everybody knew, people would perk up a little right. bit. And Any song us, that isn't Friends in Low Places. Yeah. Us especially, dude, I would have given for the, been happy for the Applebee's song because these people <laughs> were doing such like deep cut country songs that I was like, I don't know any of this. Nobody's enthralled by this. So just recognizing a song would have been nice. But then because someone sang a song that was a crowd pleaser, and when they got done, I stood up, I said, come on over, you get a drink. <laughs> and then people saw it, like, oh, if I sing a song that people know, then we might get a drink from these guys. And so that, that kind of became the thing. And if they did us, they had to do a good job, too. And it didn't have to be that you sang well. You had to get the crowd into it. So if you, if you were putting on a good show. So they didn't have a host. They did have a host, but she kept singing too. Oh. And that was very annoying. She sang like three songs well, I was gonna in say, the two usually, hours that we were there. The, usually the karaoke host sings trying to get other people into it and up there. No, there was a pretty good list. Okay. Like, there was, there was she a was lot taking up time. Yeah. Actual she, time. She, so you were like and, the Simon Cowell and like Paula Abdul and Randy Jackson. Yeah, we were, yeah. We were kind of. We judging. We were judging. And, uh. But we were kind of all Randy Jackson. We were like we were we weren't trying to no put anybody me, down. We were just trying to be like, hey, this is you're doing great. We're having a good time. We're, we're trying to get people pumped up and and build that up. So then it looks like the bar's about to close. Lights come on, and I, we haven't sang our songs yet. And the Uber arrives as they call my song. <laughs> so I run outside, tell the Uber, I'm like, I'm gonna be right back. We got two songs. <laughs> and you're loaded yeah, by this point? Oh, I'm so, so drunk. Right. And the song that I chose to do, because I knew I was going to be pretty drunk anyway, was My Way by... Uh, Usher? Uh, Usher? No, oh. Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Usher. My way, be- <laughs> My way by Usher is a better song. Yeah, no, it's I, not. I knew it wasn't, but I was just really hoping. I, just I would know. love to see you perform Usher. I didn't know. Someone did perform Usher, oh. and they did good. Just not you. Not me. I, I I think that was the song that got it all going. I think the guy that did Usher was the one that was like, that was awesome. You get a drink. And uh, so I go up and do my way, and Chad filmed it. And, uh, Alan, if you want to. There's no expletives, I assume. In this. I don't think so. Unless, so you're yeah. fully loaded singing oh, my way yeah. at this k- karaoke bar. <laughs> Are people like paying attention? Are they getting into it? Are they? I mean, you're quite the performer. He's got the arms going. (laughs) He's not even staying on the. I can't say it. I can't read at this point. Uh huh. Billy, you're a pretty good singer. I don't think that's bad. So well, you had to you. really, you had it. to really, uh, you had to um, uh, uh, 
be there to enjoy it, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely one of those things where, like, when I walked out of there, I was like, that was awesome. I crushed that song. And then <laughs> and then Chad sent me the video yesterday, and I was watching it in bed, and I was like cringing so hard. It was kind of like me the, thinking I sounded like Cher until yes, I did it live that's on the exactly show. What I was I was like, like, oh, dang, I thought I sounded I like, like her. Yeah, I didn't sound good or bad. I just sounded drunk. Like, I felt yeah. like that's – that, uh, and I thought the crowd was a little more into it. Then, but that's just because Chad was filming me, so I saw it like I kept playing to him because he was filming, and I was just like, "This is awesome." That and giant then, skeleton decor they have there too is a little off-putting. Yeah, that they. It took us a minute to notice that. Like, it's a giant skeleton. Yeah. Like we, we Halloween we had, decorations you would get where you have to put the guy wires right. up, you know, yeah. to put it in your front yard. We we had a few pops at the comedy club, so by the time we got there, we were already. A little tipsy. In a good spot. Lit up. Yeah. And uh, then Chad did uh, Bust a Move by Young MC, and he's mm-hmm. like, this is my go-to song. I know it inside and out. And then he gets up there, and he's just as drunk as I am, and he's like, whoa, that song's so much faster when you're drunk. And yeah. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that was a tough one to choose. So I don't do karaoke often because I can't sing that well. Mm-hmm. I thought I sounded like Cher, but, you know, I'm, I'm starting to learn I don't. But I can rap better. Mm-hmm. So similar to that story, St. Patrick's Day, you know, I'm it's a marathon day of yeah. drinking. And at the you end of the night, that's a good way to make it so you don't drink as much. What? Molly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I did. Just say no to drugs. <laughs> yeah, that's so, right. <laughs> say maybe sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so the Hibernian Club, which is my Irish club. <laughs> it's closing and I'm still in party mode. I'm like, guys, let's do karaoke. So we find this bar in Portage Lakes called Sandbar. I've never mm-hmm. been there and I like grew up around Portage Lakes. And it's karaoke night. So I get up there. I'm like, oh, salt and pepper, shoot. Like, all day. Yeah. I know it. Same thing happened. I get what up there. What do you drink like, it on St. Patrick's Whoa. Day? Everything under the sun. I okay. think I, I mean, I did a lot like of Jameson shots. You don't like Jameson and, like, Guinness? I was still drinking, like, vodka sodas, okay. like, my normal go-to. But then anytime you'd run into someone, like, oh, my God, let's do a Jameson shot. Yeah. It's St. Ooh. Patrick's Day. So vodka so and Jameson. Oh, that's oh, a bad boy. look. You're yeah. mixing that. I think oh. I might have done a tequila shot in there. You're deteriorating by the minute. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't my best decision making. That's for sure. And then, yeah, I tried to do shoop, salt yeah. and pepper, and... Uh, or peppa. Pep- yeah, peppa. <laughs> I am going to do <laughs> salt and pepper. <laughs> S&P, you want to get with me? Yeah. Uh, Bridget with the hard R. <laughs> <laughs> Little Wayne and salt and pepper. Little Wayne and salt and pepper. <laughs> but it was the same thing. I'm like, whoa, this is way more fast than I could imagine. This is Bill when he's not drunk. Yeah, this is me. I can usually kill it like this. I did it. My way. How did you land on my way, by yeah. the way? I was copying and the guy the that did it at, Oh, the... Uh, the guy that did it at Corky's, and everybody started singing along. And I, was, I was like, oh, I'm going to try and get that Well, that's because that guy was... Was he like 85 years old, too? No, the guy that did it at Corky's was probably late 20s, early oh, 30s. Okay. But it just, it just hit the bar just right on that night, and everybody was... Into it, but that's what I'm talking about. Like Corky's is a more special karaoke bar than a lot of people understand because the crowd does get into it, and that is mm-hmm. that makes karaoke a lot more fun than just having somebody that is good at singing. But you're just like, who cares? Like, right. It's not. It's yeah. not the same it's not level of fun. camaraderie that we want. What's your go-to karaoke song, Alan? Oh, it used to be Baby Got Back in the mid '90s. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's yeah it was Baby Got Back. Uh, uh, Brandy was good back in the day. I don't know. I, I, I Brandy, Brandy by like you uh, Brandy by Looking Glass by Looking Glass. That's a yeah. great one. Brandy, you're a fine girl. Oh, what I a good thought, wife you a, would be. That I is thought, a good one. I thought he was talking about Brandy, like the singer Brandy. <laughs> yes, like, you know, pound cake. I sing Brandy <laughs> when I'm up there. Just for, like me like, thinking my way, Usher sitting, sitting in my room, Aphrodisiac. I didn't know you were into that. Oh Alan. sure, yeah, of course. I do all those songs. <laughs> yep. What's yours, pound cake? The boy is mine. That was my go-to. Uh, That's a good one. Yeah. Um, I don't do karaoke often, but when I do, it's typical. Whitney Houston, a Michael Jackson song. Mm-hmm. Or, but I also, I'm like, I could probably do a, a Carrie Underwood song, like a Cowboy Casanova or uh, Think Before He Cheats. You know, it's a good one to do <laughs> in this day and age where if you're looking for a banger that's going to get everybody in the crowd into it, especially at a bar like Corky's, uh, Party in the USA, Miley Cyrus. Yeah. yeah. That's going to get I everybody. I, ha- I, words, yeah. I have yeah. audio of Pound Cake singing Whitney Houston if you want to hear it. Crack. 
Somebody texted me, what are you going to do with all Pound Cake's uh, clips I now know. that he's leaving? Oh, I know. That's what like about the water the one? That's my favorite. They're all going to get deleted. Yeah. Maybe I'll auction them off. I don't know. I've been wanting, I've been wanting my own ringtones for like the longest time. I'll send I mean, them to you, you guys, then. Can you guys still play them and he gets royalties or something? Hell no. I own my name, my likeness, my copyright, and my masters. I need to get something. Make me sweat. <laughs> make me harder. I will or do you want the dance remix? When I hear that song. You want the remix or you want this? Make this me is sweat. The... Make me harder. Make me lose my breath. Make me water. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know what this one for pride. It's the pride mix. Party <laughs> He's going for the drums. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. I'll just send you all your sound bites, Cody, and then you can do with them whatever you want. Perfect. You can turn them into ringtones. You can. Ooh. <laughs> I forgot about this one. <laughs> I haven't heard this one. That's when JT was in town, right? I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. This is the best. Yeah, system of a down. Tell you what. It's good stuff there. Yeah. Oh, this is making me so sad. I know, right? Thursday, Pound Cake's last day on the show. I will say, um, if we go back to the karaoke topic, uh, I did a spoof, a parody of Party in the USA, and I did it for my media production class, and it was Party of the U of A. I I should probably have that on my laptop Oh, I get it. (laughs) I I changed the lyrics, and I was singing it, and I shot a music video all around school. How are we just now finding out? Yes, about this? he saved the four best days for last. before you Literally quit. Last week, yeah. party in the U of A. Party in the U of A. I don't. I have to check my laptop because I really don't know if I have that anymore. Because I had my friend shoot it. I um, made a, a fake T-shirt and I was acting like I was Miley Cyrus, and people were like, "Oh, oh, oh can we be in your video?" Like I'm like, "No, <laughs> like you can't be in my video." So they stood in the background. It was in my video, anyways. Um, but yeah, I was like on campus. And no, he- hell no. I was like, I can't believe this ain't a Kent State party. I love that. No, yeah. hell no. You know what I'm gonna miss the most, Bill? What's that? Hey, I molest children. <laughs> Does your new employer? <laughs> I've moved on. Are they aware? Uh, I've moved on. I yeah. my background check. Yep, that's the first one I'm gonna send you to <laughs> before I delete it. You can put it in a safety deposit box. You can put it on a thumb drive. I want to delete them all. Because what if he, I mean. You he, want to delete them what, all. What if he wants to come back? Oh, is there be an no, he's made, it, no, it's he's, fine. No, he's. What, 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 deleting them for what? Like, <laughs> they're, they live forever on the internet anyways. All of the YouTube pages, and someone has these. I oh, yeah, I mean, they're embedded in past shows. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah, if somebody wants to go with a fine-tooth comb and people dig would. them out, you think? Yeah. People have the show. What, what's the point of downloading a podcast when it's on the iHeartRadio app and it's on YouTube? People still down. Those downloads are crazy. Hmm. So. Baby. Do it <laughs> oh, that Shaka Khan drums. Man. It's so good. I'm every woman. It's all in me. <laughs> I can read your thoughts right now. Everyone from A to Z. Boom, boom, boom. So good. Boom, Very exciting. Boom, anyway, boom. Oh, these talent so will live on. I know, right? Uh, I got a break here. I got those Autorama tickets for you. Oh, the piston-powered Autorama is back at the IX Center. Uh, if you want to get to that.